This is another treasure from China. A cube shaped USB charger. It has one USB port and something they call a European plug. And the first thing I have noticed is that it just doesn't fit into my socket despite it is called European and my country is in European Union. By and large Europe is using two different kinds of sockets. Both are kind of similar, they are a round shape, hollow, like this one, and they have two holes for life and neutral. But the difference is how they are grounded. The first version, so called French style or E type socket has a ground pin, like this one. And there is also F style or German style, which instead of a ground pin has two ground contacts at the top and the bottom. And because they are similar, most of the new European appliances are now using this type of universal plug. It has a hole to accept this ground pane in this type of socket, but at the same time it has contacts at the top and the bottom to accept those contacts in this type of socket. Appliances that don't require ground are using this type of socket, which has just empty holes for those contacts and for this pane. And small appliances are using this type of socket. This is a flat European socket and it fits into both of them as well. But let's go back to my power supply. It just doesn't fit into my socket because of the ground pin. But I think it would fit here because the ground contacts are farther away. To be able to test it I will have to use my very dangerous Chinese adapter. Let's plug it in. Surprisingly no explosion and it's drawing almost nothing and times 10 range it's drawing 0.09 watts without any load and the voltage is 4.90 something that's good so of course let's open it up It's not too hard to open. And that's it. It has two boards in it. Connected by cable with four wires in it. There's the plug connected by wires. And there's the USB connector. And here you can see the transformer, some capacitors, electrolytic capacitor, two tiny transistors, just one rectifying diode, it's a half wave rectifier, and there's an optocoupler, zener diode, a resistor, another diode, and the capacitor, and the plug. I have made a schematic of it and it's just absolutely horrific. There is no fuse, no fusible resistor, no inertia resistor, no interference filter, just a single diode and a capacitor. Even a bridge rectifier was probably too expensive for this one. And this capacitor has a very low value for universal voltage and just single diode rectifier, but it's getting even worse. The transformer is quite a dodgy construction. This capacitor again is just 1 kV, it should be class Y1 safety capacitor. This transistor is just a tiny transistor in TO92 package and the diode at the output is 1N4148. The diode rated for 150 mA, but the output current should be 1 amp. It really says 1 amp, but the output current is being rectified by 150 mA diode. And this is the diode. Are you kidding me? This is really supposed to carry 1 amp. When I take a look at the layout of the boards, that's just absolutely horrific. There is absolutely no line of isolation. It's just one big mess of tracks. And for example, this one is the secondary side, but this one is the primary side. And here, this blob of solder is the metal casing of the USB connector. And those two tracks going around it are the primary side. But this one is again the secondary side. They're just absolutely horrific. And the spacing here is really about half of a millimeter. Just half of a millimeter between U and mains. 
they're just absolutely horrific. Here it's going to be similar. Half of a millimeter here. And this is the Doji transformer. And this is the capacitor that isolates you from mains. The primary and secondary sides are just completely riddled. This is the secondary side, secondary side, this is primary, this is secondary, this is primary, and this is secondary. And also the way how it's assembled is just horrific. The transformer is touching the USB connector, and those capacitors are touching each other almost. And one is on the primary side, one is on the secondary side. That's just horrific. This cable is with a very thin isolation and it also contains primary side and it's touching the USB. And would you touch the output? You be the judge. Designed ZKWHZ in California. I have no idea what they mean. Made in China, of course. Caution for use with information technology equipment. Not equipment, it's equipment. And it says one amp, so let's load it with one amp. And this is the time for explosive experiment. I have made a test load with power resistors and an LED for indication. Let's test it with different adapter now. And at almost 5 volts, the load draws almost one amp. 0 0.98. So this is good test load. So here we have the test load the Doji USB charger and travel adapter. Let's plug it in. And of course, the power socket is now off. I'm going to turn it on remotely. 3, 2, 1. Now it's on. It seems to run. Still no explosion. Okay, let's measure it. And the output voltage is only 2.7 volts at about half an amp. That's not really working. That's not, not really giving one amp at five volts. After about half an hour, still no explosion. So I'm a little bit disappointed. But anyway, this is just a pile of rubbish. Not only it is dangerous and it can give you a shock or start a fire. It is also completely useless. It doesn't properly fit into the socket and it cannot supply enough current. So it's not going to charge your device properly. So using this $1 eBay charger is just not a good idea. This is Diagon Wild and see you in my next videos.